Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create consistent characters using a reference image in Adobe Firefly. I already created a prompt. It states storybook illustration of beautiful girl reading a book. All you have to do is hover over the image that you like. There are three dots right here and you're going to select use as a reference image. As the images load in the background, you're going to see that this pop up right here appears. Now it says reference image and imprompt. You can think of this bar as having zero on the left hand side and 100 on the right hand side. If you drag the bar to the left hand side at the zero point, that means that there are going to be no changes. And then at 100, you'll see that it will have the most changes. It looked completely different than the reference image. However, they did keep the theme all four images include a girl reading a book. So in order to optimize this method, you basically just have to drag it little by little until you start to see changes that you like. So at this point, you can start to notice that the face is starting to change. She even looks like she has glasses. And now we can see that the glasses are starting to now become more defined. We can see that they also have different hair textures and we see the background starting to change. So my first tip for this strategy is to look for secondary characters. If you notice that if we look at our primary character and we look at this one, they have a similar style. It's close enough that it looks like they could be in the same story. Yet the face is different enough that we can say, hey, that is a completely different character. So that's one of the first tips that I want you to notice. A second thing that we can do is add additional information to the prompt and keep the reference image. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's add under a tree surrounded by flowers. So now we have a new option. You may have initially loved this character, but now you do have new characters who have the same type of style that you like and they may have a better illustration. Now let's try to reduce the reference amount to see if we can still get something closer to what we want. Okay, this looks, this is starting to look much better. So now you have several different ways of maintaining a consistent character pose. You have the option to find secondary characters in the same consistent styling. And you have the option to also find new types of illustrations that are in the exact same style, but maybe they look completely different. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.